Bring, bring, bring. Hello. Hi, is Haley there? Yeah, this is her. Hi, Haley. This is nature. Nature? Nature who? You know, the one that makes you go number two. Number two? But I'm out in the woods. Gotta do what you gotta do when you gotta go number two. Oh, man. Oh, no. Where do I go? Right behind this tree looks like a good place. Oh, gross. What is this girl doing right in the middle of the trail? Oh, God, I didn't want to see that. Oh, the small creek looks like a good place, because if I make a mess, I can just clean myself up. Oh, boy, am I thirsty. Sure, I'm glad I found this small creek. What is this? Did somebody go number two in the creek? How gross! Ugh. Well, Haley, now you know that the trail and the creek are two places that you don't want to go number two. Make sure you're always far away from the trail or any water source when you go. How far away do we have to be? Well, that's a good question, Haley. You should be at least 200 feet from any water source or a trail. Now, we will show you the proper procedures on how to go number two in the woods and the easiest ways to do it. There are many different ways to go number two in the woods. One way is to stand over your hole, put on your pants, squat down, and butter flat. But make sure that you have your pants down far enough to where you don't accidentally go in your pants. Another easy way is to find a down tree just like this, sit in it like a chair, and there you have it. Remember when you were younger and you were in gym class and your gym teacher would make you squat up against the wall as part of the presidential or whatever award thing that they would always talk about? What they didn't know was that they were actually teaching you how to go number two in the woods. All you got to do, find a nice big tree, squat, and let her go. The only problem is if you got to go really bad, you might accidentally slide down the tree and fall right into what you're doing. So I don't really recommend this method because I can already feel it burning in my legs. This is the first way I learned how to go number two when I was younger. It's pretty simple. First, find a nice small tree like this. Put one hand on this side, one hand on this side, bend your knees, and there you have it. So this is the final one that I can think of, of how to poop in the woods. First thing you got to do is you got to make sure you got a really good partner for this. Now I'm going to set up background scenery. You're in the middle of a field, no trees around, you got bad knees, and all you have is your hiking partner. How much do you trust your hiking partner? Well, I trust mine pretty well. So this is what you got to do. First, face your partner. Lock hands, close your eyes, lean back as your partner bends her knees and they go. I'm sure this is not very good. Now that the easy part's over, we're gonna get to the messy part. Well, I forgot my teepee. What am I gonna do now? Leaves, leaves, I got leaves. Okay, Haley, well those leaves will work. However, you probably wanna get bigger ones, but if you can't find bigger ones, make sure you just get a bunch of smaller ones and preferably green. Those brown ones will probably just get all crispy, crunchy, and like stick inside your butt. Also, make sure you know what you're looking at, because if you accidentally get the wrong ones, you're gonna get itchy butt. Okay, Dad. Well, Dad, we don't just wanna leave it like this, do we? No, Haley, you're right, that would be gross. We just gotta make sure we cover this up. So first, we just wanna take all the dirt that we dug out of the hole and cover it in as best as we can. And then, when it's all nice and down, we want to stomp on it and take a bunch of leaves and sticks around the outside and cover it up so that nobody knows we were here. Now that we're all done, I can wash my hands and head back on the trail. All right, folks. Well, thank you for watching another episode of Chad Gray Outdoors. Um, we hope you found this video a little humorous and 
Hope you learned a little bit from it. Um, we tried our best, and the bugs are bad today. Um, of course, after we were done, we found some nice big butt wiping leaves. Uh, not sure what these are. Uh, poplar, maybe? I'm thinking this is poplar. So if you can find some poplar leaves, these would be perfect. Um, probably only need one. Unless you go really bad, you need two. Like I said, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel, Chad Gray Outdoors. Um, click the like, like button. And also, that little notification bell, so whenever I make a new video, then you can watch it. Or if Haley makes a video, sometimes my wife makes videos. So, hope you all enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.